Welcome to the Wicked Game Run Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the Pandora box in general. There are a lot of versions out there. It's just one big jungle. So I try to gather all of your questions and going to answer them in this video. All right, so if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell because if you're interested in the Pandora box, there are a lot of things you need to know before you're even going to buy one. Otherwise, it's highly possible that you're buying the wrong one or you have the version that you're not interested in because it's in jungle, there are a lot of versions out there and basically it's just a nightmare to buy one of these things because if you're buying the wrong one, you're not going to be happy. Nevertheless, let's start with the questions and, uh, and hope to help you out. Alright, so a lot of people were asking what version to buy. This is something that the first question you need to ask yourself. What I am looking for, because there are a lot of versions out there indeed and the biggest, the baddest and the newest is not always the one you are searching for. Because everybody, every gamer has their personal interest in something. For example, we have in 2D dimension game, 3D dimension games. And if you're talking about 3D dimensional, we having a lot of options. We have in PlayStation, PSP, N64, Sega Dreamcast, so a lot of 3D games and maybe you're just interested in 2D dimensional. So the first question you need to ask yourself, what kind of games do I want to play and in what way? And I'm thinking, what, what do you mean with way? Because there are different versions out there, different Pandora boxes. Maybe you're just more like a single player, just want to play, play games alone. So why buy a dual arcade a Pandora box if you just play alone? So a lot of things you need to ask yourself first before you're going to search for a Pandora box. Fake or real? That is always the question when you're searching a Pandora box. A lot of confusement in this jungle of Pandora boxes and I understand this totally. So I bought basically almost all of these Pandora boxes to find out which one will fit our need and which one is the best one. So that brings us to the fake part. Are there fake versions? Yes, there are. Because with, let's say when they're releasing Pandora box 5 and 6, there were many faker versions because other companies were using exactly the same name. So that was pretty annoying and confusing. And a lot of people were disappointed because they were buying, let's say, converted uh, old versions up to, let's say, Pandora Box 5, 6 and other weird names. And I read a lot of hate to these boxes and some people even return the boxes because they're not very satisfied with it because the old version like the Pandora box 5 and 6, there are some very weird fake versions with let's say 1300 games. These are basically old versions and the old version had a lot of issues. For example, screen tearing, old meme emulation and the most horrible part, for example, games were not running like they should be. For example, AirType Leo, games like Mortal Kombat were running almost unplayable. So. Yes, there are some fake versions out there. So keep in mind if you're buying from the official Pandora box or the 3E game store back in the day, you will get an official Pandora box 5 and 6. And you can always see it on the number of games because the Pandora box 5 has 960 games. And if I'm saying it correctly, the official Pandora box 6 has around 300 games. So just wanted to point that out. So if you're buying a real one and Pandora box 5 or 6, this is something you need to look out for. The best Pandora box for two-dimensional arcade games with a budget. Very simple. You want to have the best arcade experience and you want to have the best Pandora box for arcade games for your money. I think the only one you can buy is simply the Pandora box 5, 9 on 60 in one. This is the official one. The official one has good emulation, not perfect, but games like Art of Leo, Mortal Kombat and all of these things are running just fine. If you're buying a fake version, I can tell you already, for example, the Box 5S and all the other versions, avoid them of all cost. Simply, even if you can buy for a couple of dollars, what's the point if a lot of games are not running like they should be? Mortal Kombat basically unplayable, or Tableo has a lot of problems with the sound and some even some frame drops. So, if the emulation is not perfect, so it's pretty pointless if you ask me. The best Pandora for two-dimensional arcade games, but you don't have any budget and you're thinking, I want the best of the best. At this point, I think the Pandora game 3D is one of the best if you want to play arcade games. The reason I'm saying this is very simple. I have noticed that some little sound issues 
uh, for example with blood brass is a very great sample i noticed with the mundura box 5 and 6 some sound effects are not there and if you don't know them you will not miss them but the funny thing is when i'm playing with different systems i keep noticing with the pandora box 5 and 6 stuff was missing out and we don't have this problem with the pandora box game 3d the latest version so this means they are maybe using a new emulator so if you want to have this good i wouldn't say perfect because nothing beats the real deal but if you want to have a good experience and you have no budget i think the pandora game 3d is one of the best options for you the best pandora box for search function there are quite some versions out there, if you didn't know, that has search function. Right, so the first one is the one you need to be looking out for. Or in other words, don't buy it. The Pandora 3D or the Pandora Treasure 3D. This one has search function. It looks a little bit similar like the Pandora Key 7. But I can tell you it's broken. Because if you're using the search function, it only searches in the two-dimensional games. And yes, it supports the dimensional, but sadly it doesn't search in the 3D folder. So pretty pointless. So the next one is the Pandora Games 6. The official one has the search function and even for category. Very cool, very convenient and works fine. The other version is the Pandora 9S Plus. It's another brand fake version. I don't know how to say this because it's very strange. But nevertheless, this thing has a search function similar to the Pandora Box 6. And for number 4, we have the Pandora Game 3D. This version has a search function. You have a keyboard so you can basically search if you want to search a word, for example. So I think that is very convenient. I think it's the best search function we having now if it comes to search functions and Pandora boxes. What is the worst Pandora box you can buy at the moment? I think if you're buying the Pandora box 5S and 6S for the same amount of money like the official one or let's say other versions, this is the one of the worst versions you can buy simply because the emulation is very poor. A lot of games have screen tearing, sound issues, we having only 480p most of the time of signal output through the HDMI and a lot of games are pretty damn un unplayable. If you look at Mortal Kombat R-Type and a lot of games are just basically unplayable. So that, if you want to buy or you don't want to buy something, don't buy an old version and not for the same amount of money because some people did pay a lot of money for these very old crappy versions. So just want to look out for, don't buy them if you need to pay the same amount like an original or official one. Eight button. Is this even supported? The quick answer is no. We find a lot of arcade machines, Pandora boxes having the 8 button. But no, it doesn't even make sense because the Pandora box that is inside doesn't support 8 buttons. Just supports 6 buttons and that's it. I think the reason why they are doing this is very simple. When you're plugging your device on a PlayStation 3 or an Xbox 360 or your PC, and yes, that's possible, you can use the eight buttons. So I think that's the series, the only single time you will use all eight buttons. What is the best version for PlayStation gaming? I just want to do this overview of all the boxes that can play PlayStation and the problems that you just know what is going on. All right, the first you have the Pandora box six from the official Pandora box store. This one supports PlayStation, but there's something you need to know. This thing doesn't have a safe support. So maybe you're thinking, yeah, but that's not a big problem. Yes, it is. First of all, if you're playing games like Tekken, for a great example, if you want to unlock characters, just want to play the game like old days, and you want to unlock characters, you want to save, here comes a problem, because you can't save. So you're basically never, 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 never going to unlock the extra characters. So I think that ruins the full game experience for me. The second problem is with the Pandora Box 6. Not all games are supported because basically some of them are crashing. This is because of the problem with the rumble function of the controller. Yeah, that's something pretty weird that the software is giving the rumble function to the controller, but there is no rumble function and the full system crashes. You can disable the rumble function in the controllers, but the problem is you can't save. So basically every time you need to boot up a game, you need to disable the rumble function. So you know where I'm going with this. It's pretty useless, to be honest. It's fun that you have just run to play in quick game. But in overall, if you want to play PlayStation Arcade, no, this is not possible with the Pandora Box 6. Pandora Key 7 and even the Pandora Game 3 have support for it. 
uh, but the safe so far I know it's still a little bit of an issue here and there maybe in the future they will fix it and I can make an update video about it but for now if you just want to save this is going to be a big issue weird but true can the Pandora box be hacked I think if you have the scales in general maybe you can get into the system there are some versions like the Pandora Box 5S and 6S. We just basically call this the fake versions. I did notice some videos on YouTube that people were reinstalling completely new firmware on this device. And even gives them the options to play SNES, Mega Drive and all sorts of things. But there is almost no information, even let's say the files is needed for reinstalling this. So can it be hacked? Yes, but there are not a lot of people around working on this. And to be honest, who cares? Because the Pandora Game 3D is basically everything you want. So, Cooling fan, can this one be replaced? Yes, it is. It's very easy to replace the fan. Simply just removing it by pushing the little locking mechanisms and you can just pull it off. There's no screwdriver needed. If you look on AliExpress, you will find some replacement. I think the most common problem you will have with this is just finding the one with the right connection. So is it possible? Yes, it is possible. And sometimes maybe replace it with a better one. Uh, keep in mind, buy the right one. Because if you look at the materials, the fans are made of, for example, the cooling element are made from copper, pure copper. They are very expensive, but copper is a way better conductive in other words it cools way better and again we have some differences with fans some are pretty loud some sound like a freaking vacuum cleaner and some are very silent so a lot of differences and yes it's so it's possible to upgrade to best software which version has the best software All right so let's talk about the emulation it's pretty hard to find out which version they are using at the background because i don't know any way of getting into the emulators itself so if you look at the Pandora Game 3D, again, the latest version, they are using way better emulators because I've noticed a lot of these sound issues are getting away or not noticeable anymore. So, but if you look at the Pandora boxes, the old versions, for example, the Pandora Key 4, 5, 6 and all those brands, they are still using the old main versions. And most of the games are just playable, but you are missing out sound effects, you're having some little screen tearing or other problems. So keep in mind, if you want to have the best software, you just need basically buy the latest version. In this case, the Pandora Game 3D, and maybe in the future, they will release newer versions with even better software on it. Which Pandora box has the best resolution? All right, so let's start with the beginning of the Pandora boxes, or when I started making these videos. Pandora box 4 and Pandora Key 5S, 6S, or box 5S, 6S, the fake versions, these all run on 480p through HDMI. If you look at the Bondora Box 5 and 6, the original, these run on 720p. And some of these Pandora Key versions, the later version, also run on 720p. The Pandora Game 3D, so far I know the newest version is still running on 720p, or this is what my Elgato says when the recording. There are some Pandora Key versions that run on 1080p for example the Pandora 3D and those weird names but there are some versions running on 1080p but there are only a few of them so let's say the most versions run on 720p so we're playing these old games on a big screen and you want to have let's say more like this image polishing method a lot of you don't like it I've noticed in the comment because you just want to see the original game and not this weird filter game but what kind of filters do we have? It's more like this, um, let's say, pixel polish filter that gives more a little bit of a smooth look. There are some versions for the Pandora Box 5 and 6 the original one. You can turn it off if you don't like it. And so far I understand from the Pandora Games 3D, the latest version, also has this option to turn it off. But there are some key versions, Pandora Key 7, if I'm saying it correctly. You cannot turn it off, so you're stuck with this filter. So if you don't like it, you just need to deal with it. Um, Let's say filters like scan line and all the other stuff is not available yet. Can I remap my buttons? Yes, you can. For example, with the Pandora Box 5 and 6 official one, you can go to the setting menu and can remap all the buttons. 
but it's only a little bit of a problem. You cannot say, okay, I want to have this game, I want to use these buttons. That is not possible. You map them for that's all MAME games or for all PlayStation games. So that's a little bit of annoying. Going to the Pandora, let's say the latest key versions or Pandora 3D or the Pandora game 3D, you can say, okay, I have this controller. This only works when you're plugging in the controller. Okay, I have, let's say, the controller, I want to map these buttons with the functions only. Here it comes again. If you're doing this, it will always be for the full emulator. You cannot say I want to have this buttons mapped for this certain game and for this game I want to have it. This is not possible. You want to add more games to a mainboard in the future. But then there's the question, what mainboards have this support? It's a very good question because not all of these mainboards have the option. Even if they have, an, for example, a thumb drive or an SD slot that you can basically swap your SD card. But that doesn't mean you can add games because it's just basically locked down. Alright, so the first one is the Pandora Games 6. You can add, let's say, MAME, NEO, GEO and you can add PlayStation 1. But this is very limited. Very limited. Alright, so the next one is the Pandora Key versions. The Key 7, the Pandora 3D and the Pandora 3D Treasure. These three versions have the option to add, so far I understand, N64, PSP, Sega Dreamcast and even some two-dimensional games. There are some tutorials out there, pretty hard to add games and you really need to know what you're going to do. That brings us to the last one, the Pandora Games 3D. The latest version has also the way of adding games, but it is not very plug and play or let's say you're adding the files and it automatically is going to see the new games. Now there's a little bit of a very messy way to do this because you need to add them with a certain name and a certain method and if you're not doing it correctly it doesn't see the games. Can we save high scores? I know a lot of you really love to save your high scores and I can totally understand because it's just really cool more like a competition who gets the best high score. Can you save it? No. There is no let's say an automatic save function in the emulation itself that saves your high score. But there isn't a solution for this. This is more like cheating slash spoofing when you're buying the Pandora Game 3D, the latest version. What you can do is play the game, making quick save when you're done with the game and have your high score set up. When you're coming back, you only just need to load up your game every single time. Don't save of course over it, otherwise you will lose your last previous save point. But you know what I'm going with this. What you can do with this quick load, quick save is that you can just go to the last archive moment and you can basically save your high score this way. It's cheating, it's spoofing, it's not very convenient, but still it's a way to save your high score. Can we quick load and quick save? Yes, we can with some mainboards. I didn't mention this before in any of these questions. There are some versions like fake versions or heroes, for example. There are mainboards you don't see very often. You can quick load, quick save. But there is something else. We having the Pandora Game 3D, the newest version. And this one supports quick load, quick save. But there is a catch. Yes, there is always a catch with these Pandora boxes. You can do this but not with every game. What I understand with the arcade, real old arcade two-dimensional, you can quick load, quick save. But most of the time when it comes to three-dimensional games, for example, Dreamcast, PSP and such search of things, it's not possible to quick load, quick save. All right, so you have an old arcade machine and then the question, what do you need to buy? There are basically two ways you can do this. You can buy the family edition, you can build it in your arcade cabinet. But I think the most easy way to do this is to buy the Yamaha version. The Yamaha version comes with a special mainboard that has the option to use a Yamaha connector. Keep in mind if you're connecting this Yamaha connector, it's not always plug and play because some of these cables can be a little bit different, the position of the cables. I need to say it correctly. The position of the cables can be a little bit different compared with the original mainboard Yamaha connector that has been used in your arcade machine. So you need to have the manual of the mainboard you're going to use, first of all. 
A second, you need to check which connections, for example, the five volts um, and inputs of the controls. The best version to play 8-bit and 60-bit games. Yes, people, there are some versions that play, let's say, NES, Super NES and Mega Drive. So let's start with the models, for example, the Pandora Box 9D. And there are even some Pandora 3D or Treasure 3 d versions that have some lost let's say Mega Drive or Super NES games. Most of the time you cannot add games, so you're stuck with a, let's say, a couple of games around it. But if you look at adding games, if you want to have this, let's say, main board that support not only arcade and all the other stuff, you want to have this all in one. I think the only one that will fit your need is the Pandora Game 3D. It's a brand new version and this version basically supports everything from NES, Super NES, Mega Drive, N64, you name it, it supports it. So I think the Pandora Game 3D will be the best fit if you are searching for more than only arcade games. Alright, so you are searching for the cheapest Pandora box out there, or in other words, the cheap, 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 cheap version of the Pandora box. If you're searching secondhand or maybe on other sites, you can find old versions. For example, the Pandora Key 4 or the Pandora Key 5S, 6S, these are pretty cheap nowadays simply because there are old versions. I think not the best options, and, but still if you are searching for something cheap and you want to play some arcade games, some of the games are running fine and you can enjoy them. Keep in mind there will be a lot of choppy gameplay, a lot of synth sound issues and low resolution. That's also something that happens with the older version. So if you can live with all of these things, Maybe yes, if you buy in Pandora Key 4 or 5 or yeah, not bad at all and just go for it. Maybe this is a fun experience for beginning to play on the Pandora box. Does it support PSP? Yes, it does, but not all of them again. If you want to look into PSP, there are two versions out there. We have in the Pandora Key 7, the Pandora 3D, the Pandora Treasure 3D. And maybe there are some other versions, but let's say there are more like the same company, only is a diff different name. But if you look at the PSP version, it runs pretty choppy, it still glitches out, some games are pretty unplayable. And again, this is the most biggest problem with these versions, there is no player 2 support. So you can only having one player support. A little bit weird, don't you think so, if you're having a two player Pandora arcade stick. But there is a positive thing, yes, the Pandora Game 3D, the latest version, supports PSP. And it supports two-player. They have this little spoof that you can basically load your second player through virtual, let's say, link system. So pretty cool, you can play together with your friend. And I must say the emulation is pretty good. So an overall PSP, yes, but you shall need to buy the Pandora Game 3D. Does it play or support Sega Dreamcast? Yes, it does, but not all of the versions. There are quite some versions out there, but that is something I need to point out. We have in the Sega Naomi, the arcade version, and we have in the Sega Dreamcast. There are two types of versions. Naomi is the arcade, Dreamcast the home version. So let's talk about the Naomi. Naomi has been seen and supported by the Key 7, the Pandora 3D, and Pandora Treasure 3D. Basically, they're all the same if you look at the layout, the support of the games. But there is a catch. It plays pretty horrible, pretty slow. For example, Dead Alive is running very slow and basically unplayable if you ask me. But here comes the Pandora Game 3D. It has a support for Dreamcast, yes. It's still not perfect. A lot of glitches, some slowdowns, but in general, this is not bad at all. So the Pandora Game 3D, I think it's the best option if you want to play some Sega Dreamcast games. But again, not perfect. How can we connect our Pandora box? There are basically two ways to do this. The first way is through, through the HDMI connection. Pretty common, very easy, plug and play. And we even have sound because everything comes through the HDMI connection. But if you want to use the VGA, it's possible. But keep in mind, it is only for the image. So you need to uh, use a jack cable for having a separate line or connection for your audio. I think VGA will be used maybe on a CRT or you want to have it for an old cabinet. It's all possible. And if you are needing another connection, 
you shall need to buy a converter board. Can we use the arcade stick like an arcade stick? Yes, you can. You can use this on a PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 and PC. No, there's no support so far in over Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So you're still stuck with the old systems. And again, there is a catch because I did try it sometimes with, let's say the fake versions. And after plug and play, indeed it works. I did notice with some systems, but at the end it was pretty damn laggy and it didn't work for me. Maybe with the official one, it works a little bit better. That is highly possible. But in overall, this is something you need to decide for yourself if you want this and if you're buying a Pandora box for this. I recommend just buying Mad Cats, Hori or a certain arcade deck that's specially made for your console because Pandora box, I see it more like a standalone arcade machine and not for a plug and play device. When will the new Pandora box version come out? This is a very difficult question to give an answer to because this is almost more like they're dropping out of the sky, out of nothing. The same happened with the Pandora Box 5 and the Pandora Box 6. And when will the original Pandora Box 7 come? Who knows? If I'm going to ask them, they were never going to give me an answer because I think they don't know or they don't want to tell me. The same goes for other brands. It's always more like waiting for it and keep an eye on selling pages and just waiting and see if there are new versions popping up. So that's the only thing I can say about it for new versions. There's no real release date or that's not how the companies work or it seems to be. And this is what you're going to get with these Pandora versions. Just wait, be patient and just keep an eye on the pages who sell these products. All right, so that concludes this video. I hope to help out. If you still have a question that I didn't answer, you can always leave it in the comment. Maybe me or one of the Wicked family can help you out with your problem. For now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell for upcoming Wicked content. Thanks for watching. And if you like gaming, don't forget to check out the Wicked Gaming channel.